solve and to find a cleanup event that you can take part in, just head on over to coin.com. And they had a pretty nice morning to, to clean up things this morning. Yes. The weather wasn't bad at all. No, it stayed mostly dry. It was mostly cloudy and it was warmer than yeah, what we saw much yesterday. Warmer, much warmer. Which was nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So our Coin6 team out there cleaning up around downtown. Look at all these smiles. Love this photo. Um, thanks to our team for cleaning up downtown Portland as we stayed dry today and so much warmer as well. But the rain. Oh, it is back and it is back in a big way right now across our region. Taking a look at I-5. This is out in Ridgefield. It is 56 degrees, but the rain has really start to come down. So please do be careful if you are heading out on the roads. Here's what we saw today. Look, we were above average. Portland coming in at 66 degrees are normal for this time in April. In Portland is 63. So yes, a few degrees warmer. We love to see it. Salem hit 70. Well, Roseburg coming in at 74 for their high today. The coast was also beautiful. But the warmest day of what we've seen so far this year in 2023, that came on March 18th, coming in at 68. Well, that's the warmest day we've seen so far. But our weather headlines show that isolated showers will continue into our Sunday and Monday as well as a cooler trend. Well, uh, that's what we'll see Sunday and Monday before things start to warm up by midweek. Here's how things kind of shake out. Our weather pattern is showing that we have this trough that'll be hanging out with us Sunday and Monday. But then you start to see on Tuesday this ridge of high pressure that's coming in that's going to dry us out and warm us up. But first, Let's talk about these rain chances because that's what we're going to see Sunday and Monday. More so with those isolated showers come Monday. Here's our forecast rain total in the Portland and Vancouver area. You see nearly um, about a half an inch of rain, a little bit more up there in Vancouver and on the coast. We typically see more on the coast. No, not this time. Just about a half an inch or under uh, for most of our coastline. The widespread rain will continue throughout the next hour or so. This is into our early morning hours where you see the cloud coverage. That's going to be sticking around. We're also going to see some spotty showers here and there. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So as we're starting our day, we can still see some sprinkles in mid morning. Do expect isolated showers before the afternoon when the rain will start to taper off, but we'll still be under plenty of clouds tomorrow afternoon. So pattern change, it is coming. Sunday, Monday, we're going to be in the upper 50s for our daytime high before we hit midweek, and that's when we're going to say hello to sunshine and to 70-degree weather. But tomorrow, here's what the coast looks like. Most of the coast will be in the low 50s for a daytime high. Rainy conditions, especially to start our morning. You also can expect some breezy conditions and gusts could pick up into um, the 20 mile per hour zone. So be aware of that here in the valley. We're looking at some rainy conditions as we start our day, but we should get into the upper 50s for most of our region with the wind gusts staying about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here is our seven day forecast Sunday, Monday. We roll through with those isolated showers Tuesday. Things dry up and then would you look at that? We we start seeing 70 Ooh. degrees wane by Friday. We could be in the upper 70s, and that will be exciting. 